in what may be possibly one reason why you feel better eating fish and foods like that on a bright sunny day, researchers discovered how omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D work to basically reduce inflammation in the brain and help bring serotonin levels back to normal. In the research titled, Omega-3 Fatty Acids and Vitamin D May Control Brain Serotonin, and for you independent researchers out there, the citation title being, Vitamin D and the Omega-3 Fatty Acids Control Serotonin Synthesis and Action Part 2. Oh yes, by the way, there was a part one that worked with vitamin D, but we'll go that through to that in a second. Revelance for ADHD, bipolar schizophrenia, and impulsive behavior. We'll get into that part two. Published online February 2015. And this is a quote from the study. Although essential marine omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D have shown to improve cognitive function and behavior in the context of certain brain disorders, the underlying mechanism has been unclear. Now, serotonin is explained as the possible missing link tying together why vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids might ameliorate the symptoms associated with a broad range of brain disorders. All right, now here we go to part one. How does vitamin D help with serotonin? And this is a quote from the researchers, and this is what they said. Vitamin D regulates the conversion of the essential amino acid tryptophan. Many of you may recognize that amino acid as being one of the more popular ones into serotonin. So tryptophan requires vitamin D to convert to serotonin. And how this may influence the development of autism, particularly in developing children with poor vitamin D status. So not adequate in levels of vitamin D, body can't turn the tryptophan to serotonin, brain doesn't develop properly. All right, now we proceed to part two. In part two's paper, they explain how serotonin is a critical modulator of executive function, impulse control, sensory gating, and pro-social behavior. And basically, this is what they discovered of the omega-3s and how it affects brain function. The first omega-3, there's more than one omega-3, the first one is the EPA, otherwise known as echosapentaenoic acid, and they found that it did this. Increases serotonin release from presynaptic neurons by reducing inflammatory signaling molecules in the brain known as E2 series prostaglandins, which inhibit serotonin release and suggest how inflammation may negatively impact serotonin in the brain. So if the body can't regulate inflammation properly, then basically these neurons can't get what they need to operate properly. EPA reduces that inflammation in the brain, helping everything basically work smoothly, so to say. But the second omega-3 group, which is also very important, the DHA, otherwise known as docohexaenoic acid. And this is what the researcher said, and to quote, EPA, however, is not the only omega-3 that plays a role in the serotonin pathway. Docohexaenoic acid, DHA for short, also influences the action of various serotonin receptors by making them more accessible to serotonin by increasing cell membrane fluidity and postsynaptic neurons. So EPA, DHA, powerful combination, getting the brain to operate and regulate serotonin properly. Vitamin D, extremely important, getting the amino acids in the body, especially tryptophan, converting to serotonin. And now that's how they begin to work together. And to proceed forward, what the researchers warned, vitamin D, which is converted to a steroid hormone that controls about 1,000 genes, many in the brain, is a major deficiency in the US. And omega-3 fatty acid deficiencies are very common because people don't eat enough fish, or I should say, good fats. So both are vital. So if you're feeling a little down, a little blue, and you can't figure out why, Look at your vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids and heed the, the, I don't say warning, but that's the advice of the research itself. So until then, eat healthy, my friends. Ralph Dirk Channel, signing off once again.